XPS, 16K, and KD amplifiers represent the new generation of RCF 4 channels DSP amplifiers and offer a full package of extremely high-power amplification, innovative processing, and analog digital audio management in a single solution. The main user interface is RDNet, the RCF proprietary control and monitoring software that allows to discover, configure, monitor, and control a virtually unlimited number of amplifiers. In the current video tutorial, we will explore the steps to connect the amplifier to RDNet and discover it. XPS 16K amplifier integrates a four-port, high-performance switch compliant with IEEE 8002.1 AVB standard, acting as a RDNet controller. Thanks to the internal switch, XPS 16K can be directly connected to an Ethernet network. Control 8 and Control 2 devices are therefore not necessary unless legacy RDNet products are included in the same application. It is strongly recommended to reserve a specific VLAN to the control communication in order to guarantee connection performance and integrity. With more than one amplifier, a daisy chain topology can be built. The maximum number of devices that can be connected in daisy chain depends on the specific user needs in terms of latency that necessary increases with the number of units. It is good practice not to connect more than eight units in daisy chain. Where a star topology is preferred, an external switch is required that can be connected to any of the four LAN ports of the device. Each XPS 16K device must be connected to a different switch port. The maximum number of devices that can be connected in the same LAN is determined by IPv4 protocol. Connecting two different ports of the device to the external switch, a full redundancy is achieved. The mandatory requirement is that the external switch must be managed and support STP. A hybrid topology can also be implemented with the constraints mentioned above. In the XPS 16KD model, LAN 3 and LAN 4 ports become Dante primary and secondary ports. Let's start connecting the amplifier to the network according to the preferred connection strategy. In the current video tutorial, we'll implement a straight amplifier to PC connection using a single standard Ethernet cable. Before connecting and using this product, please read this instruction manual carefully and keep it on hand for future reference. Plug one Ethernet cable end to the LAN 1 port of the amplifier, the other end to the LAN port of the personal computer. Connect one end of the supplied PowerCon cable to relevant connector and the socket to the mains. Press the power standby button to switch the amplifier on. Once the boot procedure is completed, the network settings menu can be accessed pressing menu button once, using the edit wheel to scroll to the relevant menu and pressing the wheel to confirm, alternatively operating on the touchscreen display. By default, the amplifier stars with DHCP enabled and auto IP on. Where a DHCP server is present on the network, the amplifier will automatically obtain the IP address upon power up and connection. Alternatively, the amplifier will automatically set a random IP address in the 169.254 APIPA range, resolving automatically any IP address conflict in case of multiple amplifiers present on the same network. Where a specific static IP configuration is preferred, disable DHCP mode and insert the required IP address, subnet mask, gateway address using the frontal controls or operating on the touchscreen display. Make sure the PC interface that will be connected to amplifier is properly configured in the same network segment and subnet of the amplifier, otherwise it will not be discovered. Our amplifier address is 169.25465.4 address with 255.255.0.0 subnet mask, so we'll configure the PC interface accordingly. If not already installed on the PC, download RDNet. To download it is necessary to have a free RCF account. Go to the RCF webpage, click on My RCF tab, and follow the procedure to create your new RCF account. Remember also that having an account is required to register RCF products using the unique product serial number. This will allow to verify if the product is original or fake. Once logged in the website, go in the Software Download section and download RDNet5 Installer. Launch the installer and follow the steps confirming to reboot the computer when asked. To finalize the installation, launch the RDNet Launcher app and click on the Start RDNet button to run the software. To launch RDNet next time, just double-click on the shortcut on the desktop. At first start, username and password will be required. They will be the same credentials of your RCF account. 
Once logged in, it will be no longer required to use these credentials, so from now the software can be used offline as well. If network parameters are properly set, the amplifier icon will appear automatically in the controller windows, showing relevant name, IP address, and ID. Now drag and drop the controller icon in the main workspace and wait for synchronization to complete. It's now possible to use RDNet for the amplifier real-time management and configuration. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.